guys, it's Hazmat the Three here, and today I'll be bringing an episode on uh, the cannoning series or whatever, where I show you guys cannons that I use and that you guys can use, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. So today we're gonna ma be making my favorite cannon I have ever made. Uh, I'm not sure if I created it, but uh, it's my favorite cannon. Like I don't even care about that dumb stand stacker. I just care about this cannon because when people don't water bases correctly. You can air burst into them, and when you air burst, if the if there's a here, I'll, I'll make an example real quick. So if you have water buckets, and okay, let's say this is the base right here. Let's make it a couple higher. Okay, if this is the base, if you if your water's just like that, TNT's radius can go into the obby still. So the TNT could blow up. The TNT could blow up right here, and it will da damage the obby. It'll, it can blow up right here and damage the obby. But if they water it like this, uh, there. If they water it like that, you cannot airburst because the TNT will not reach it from over here. So with this cannon, it, it's really precise, and it'll get the TNT right here. So. You can just airburst into a base. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So let me just patch this up real quick because I don't need this messing everything up, and even though it won't. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna be showing. I'm gonna be building the cannon and showing you guys what it does, or showing you exactly how it works. So for this cannon, uh, I didn't get all the supplies set up, but I can just grab it out of here when I need it. Well, you're going to need a button, TNT, redstone, a uh, bucket of water, and that's almost it. You just need a slab. It's a very easy cannon to make and slabs. It's very, very simple to make. So what you're going to want to do is just have your starting block or whatever. But Or you could just start like this. This is easier in my, um, my uh, way or whatever. But yeah, so you want to have this. This is for the TNT shooting, and you have to have it so it's next to the water. Just like what I showed you. The TNT has to end up next to the water, and then it'll just, you'll start air bursting. So what you're going to want to do first is you are going to want to go and take this. We're going to make the, like, design of this cannon first. Uh, these blocks don't really matter, so I'll just take them off, whatever. So you'll have to have this go to back 10 to, or that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When it's back 10, you're going to want to place two more blocks around here and just go straight back again. So both of these sides are 10, and then under here will just be like 9 or 10. It doesn't matter. You can just bring it all the way back or just keep it like that. This is where the water is going to go. So when you place the water, it's going to only flow up to the slab. And then you're going to place the slab there. So it's pretty easy to make from this point. Um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is place a block right here on the left. It actually doesn't matter, left or right. You'll just have to cut. I always place it on the left because I'm just used to it. But you can. it doesn't matter what side you actually place it on. I just like placing it on the left. It's the same if you place it on the right because you'll just move this side to this side and then this side to this side which is pretty darn simple. And then you're just gonna wanna place a block over the top of it. And then to the button part, which is a very hard part, you're just gonna wanna place it on the back there. So uh, yeah. Then you're gonna wanna take your redstone and go and put two over here. And then you're gonna wanna take this all the way over to here. But don't put it on the slab because if this is put, if this is put over here on the slab and there's TNT right here, if you push that button, it's going to light the TNT and blow up your cannon. Because the repeaters are actually supposed to... The repeater part the repeater part is supposed to do it. So, yeah. So then at the end here, just place two over there. Because that's what's actually going to light the TNT. And then over here is going to be the delay. So if you put the... Yeah, so you just put six redstone repeaters right here on the left side. Where this T... Or not this TNT. This, uh the part that's not filled out. So this is where the delay is going to be. So this is going to insta-fire this and then and then uh, this is going to be your delay. 
And all these can be on max delay. I've tested it out before. And yeah. And then I'm going to show you guys a couple attachments to this in this Canon too. So yeah. So this is the Canon. <laughs> it's pretty darn simple to make. Like if you look at it. Pretty darn simple. Get a nice screenshot of this beautiful thing right here. Man, would you look at that. And I've gotten into some good raids with this thing, guys. So, trust me, it's pretty useful depending on, uh, you know, when what kind of situation you're in. So, I'm going to go... Um, actually, you know what? I'll just show you guys the attachments right now. So, for the attachments, you're going to want to build a... I'm not going to get this right the first time. I know I won't. But you're going to want to make like a little staircase thing up here. And then you're going to want to go like this. Yeah. Then you're going to want to go like this. And yeah. So this is where you add more TNT to your cannon. So uh, I did it around the wrong block because I don't make this attachment a lot. But yeah, this is where you put more TNT on uh, the cannon. Like if you need more power... This is what you need to do. So you just build a staircase up one. You build it up one just like that. And then, yeah, one up to the side of the right side. Or if it's on the left side, just copy it over to the left. But I'm doing it on the right. And staircase up. And then you're going to want to make a, uh, just go up one more. Straight though. And then one to the left. And then you go all the way over just like that. And then this will make it so when you press the button, all those go off at the same time too. And then TNT will drop. So if I put TNT up here and I put TNT down here, they'll all go off at the same time. And then we'll just have way more power. So it's pretty darn nice. And then there's the delay. And this part's kind of tricky because if, if this blows up after or before the TNT blows up, then, well, like, yeah, then you're done. Because if this delays too much, and these shoot, and then it falls on here, then your cannons rip. So, this part's kind of tricky. Well, there's, like, a, many ways to do it, but, like, it's just adding more delay. So, it's, I don't it, it's kind of, like, your choice, I don't know. Just make, like, a, I'll just show you guys kind of what I mean. Like, this is six repeaters right here, but if you want to come, like, out here, maybe add one in right here. So, one, you know, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's six, seven, eight. And then come over. Like, that's fine. You just need to make sure it doesn't blow up. Just do test shots if you have the money. But if you're just yellowing it. So, what I do sometimes is I come over here. Here, I'll put all these two full delay. What I do is just place one TNT down. And... And then, see, uh, I'll, I'll look at it again. I'll look again. So, I just watch right here. And if, yeah, see, this red storm right here lit up before it exploded right here. So, that means that I can add more delay, actually. So, if we can go right here. Let's see. Yeah, still, still going, still going. So, now, if we add more... And we go here. Wait, no, 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to blow up the cannon. And let's see. Yeah, that went right before. So this is probably the max delay, actually. Well, yeah. We'll try one tick. And we'll see what happens. Huh. Yeah, so this... This, I'd say, is the max delay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10 full repeaters of full delay. And I'd say that's your max, uh, max delay, in my opinion. So, yeah. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when I'm shooting at a base. And, yeah. Okay, guys. I finished our wall here, or our fake base wall. And I forgot to mention with this, uh, cannon, you can actually use ladders or fences here at the front. It doesn't matter. I'm not sure which one shoots higher, uh, or lower. I'm not sure, but... Uh, you know, those are a different choice. It's a uh, personal opinion or whatever, or what you're trying to do on the base. But with this cannon, you can shoot high, low, you know, you, f it's your power. You control this cannon. This cannon is, yeah, 
you control it. So, uh, with this, I'm actually going to want to set this back up to the normal, uh, like, thing that I normally had, but all broke to show you guys the attachment. Because uh, I just like, I just like this more. I'll just keep the top one up there, just because I'm not going to use it. So, uh, yeah, let's just go like that, and like that, and we'll go... We'll go four, four full uh, repeater things for right now. I'm just going to break this real quick because it's annoying me just being there. And I like flying freely. And because I'm on creative, I cannot use the potato or whatever. And I tried on survival, it doesn't work. So we're just going to have to YOLO it. So with this, we're going to want to go four power. And in order to sometimes make the perfect shot to get in. Oh, and also this, uh, yeah, in order to get make the perfect shot in. You might not have to place it all next to each other. You might have to place a couple back here. Sometimes maybe one behind. So, like, it, it all ends up, you know, making it and working. And I've shot this cannon over, like, 100 blocks or whatever and gotten into bases. And you can also, with this cannon, make it into the top of bases. Um, bottom is harder, but I think I've done it. And then uh, the front of it, if you're just aiming at the front. But this can these kind of cannons are easiest when you aim them at the side of the base because then there's just more to hit. And if you, as in if you were uh, gonna go in from the uh, top or uh, side or front. So <clears throat> yeah. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go four, four power, and actually let's go three ticks. So let's go and shoot this cannon. Uh, let's see. See, oh, it blew up too early, and we need more power. So, what we're going to do is just restock it. It's just trial and error with this cannon. You know, you might waste some money, you might waste some time, but you know what? It's just trial and error. But, you know, as long as it gets the job done, you get into the raid, and yeah, see, that would get us in. That would get us in. And if we even want to add more power, just go all of this over here. You know, oh, not like that. Maybe just add some up here. Add, like no delay because <laughs> this thing's gonna blow up so fast or it's gonna shoot so fast and yeah see that went way i have no idea where that one went but yeah that's about all i had have to show you guys today you know this thing is a little beast and it can get you uh, a lot of success in factions which is my favorite thing to do so um <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what I should do next. And uh, yeah, please tell me if you're liking this series. Uh, if you are, just hit that like button. And yeah, Hazmat